Is there any uh, current and or former players that you try to emulate? Well, I like to emulate all the greats. You mm -hmm. know, from, from Derrick Brooks mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying, Deacon Jones mm -hmm. to Lawrence Taylor to Ray Lewis. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, Patrick Patrick Willis, John mm -hmm. Beeson. Uh, a lot of guys who are proven leaders and successful. What have you seen of out of uh, Kiko Alonso at linebacker, and does he have the potential to be a leader for you guys at that he position? Does, he does. He's very, he's very quiet, but he makes plays, mm -hmm. and then that that that's, that speaks volumes. You know, as long as you're making plays, mm -hmm. you you you're, you're accountable, and mm -hmm. we can count on you on mm -hmm. Sunday. So uh, he flies around to the ball. He has he has great energy, although mm -hmm. he's quiet. His play his play speaks for itself. You know, mm -hmm. and it, it is zoos. You know, when he's running to the ball and he's making uh, mm -hmm. making different plays. What have you seen out of uh, Nigel Bradham, the second year player? He's he's uh, a very athletic guy. You know, he's well with, with how practice is running. Nobody's because everybody's tired. The fast paced offense. Everybody's trying to get breath. You know, and, and think about the next play. Mm -hmm. But he's he's a great athlete, a great guy. You know, he mild mild tempered, mild mannered, but mm -hmm. he's a great player as well. And he's one of those guys. He his motor is constantly running, always going, always finding somewhere around the ball. Um, he knows his job. He knows what he's supposed to do. So our, our interior guys are very mm -hmm. accountable um, mm -hmm. with Kiko and, and, and Nigel. Where do you see yourself uh, fitting in with this team as of right now? As, as a Sam linebacker and then a special teams player, I have to get my foot into the door uh -huh. uh, and forge my way because as, as an undrafted free agent, it's not easy to make the team. So you yeah. have to, wherever they put you, you have to pretty mm -hmm. much f force your way into the door. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, where, that's the current situation I'm mm -hmm. in right now. Is there an uh, undrafted guy that you look at in the past that really did well that you try and uh, see their path and then say I can uh, do that? A number of guys. Mm -hmm. Mark Scott. Mm -hmm. You know he, he was undrafted. Uh, who else? I mean it's, it's a number of guys that were undrafted and went on to have mm -hmm. uh, great careers in the NFL. So mm -hmm. any, any guy. Who took the the, the route of undrafted free agency mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. a stand-up guy in my book because it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely uh, the road less traveled because mm -hmm. nobody wants to be an undrafted free agent mm -hmm. and anyone who tells you that they do want to be an undrafted free agent is lying to you mm -hmm. uh, it's because it's uh, it's the path of most resistance and a lot mm -hmm. of people don't want to take that path right. um, but you need something you just got to embrace the struggle and that's mm -hmm. that's my current situation and that's what I have to deal with at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm just got my head down to keep digging for mm -hmm. every, every day. All right, Keith. Well, thank you very much and good luck to you. Thank you.